The law of attraction. What is it? How does it work? Does it ever work? This is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, and we have a special guest today. Her name is Michaela, so stay tuned. So, this is my first collaboration on YouTube. A few weeks ago, I came across with a really cool, interesting Instagram feed. I resonated with everything that was there, so I couldn't help sending a DM message. And I ended up inviting her to speak about the law of attraction. So, thank you so much for being here today. Michaela, I would love our viewers to get to know you a little bit. Would you like to introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, so hi, creators.、Um, my name is Michaela. So, Michaela, you're from Germany. Yes, I'm from Germany. This is actually my very first YouTube video. I saw you have been posting about the law of attraction and the positivity. Like, how did you first start like, creating this Instagram account? It's very inspiring, by the way. Go check your Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram name is Feel Guidance.、Mm -hmm. uh, I named it Feel Guidance because I want. Or、my basic theme is like feelings、mm -hmm. uh, because with the law of attraction, you like have to focus on how you feel in that moment. How you,、uh, it's not important how you think about things, it's just really important how you really feel. And I want to guide people and just give them a plan. Of about how to implement it into their life、mm -hmm. and how to really use it and not just like talk about it and visualize and think about the things you want.、Uh, because for me, in my、uh, spiritual path,、uh, it has always been just in the beginning, it was just like I was、uh, thinking about the things I want, I was making lists, lists about the things that I want to manifest. And that's just not how it works because how it works is if you just have like a bad experience or you have like ne negative thoughts or something, then you like have the desire to、uh, manifest things that you actually really like and that you actually really want. And、yeah. the only real thing that you have to like work on and、uh, Like, really take steps about is just how you feel, and just also not putting too much effort and not putting too much force into and that, and not forcing anything to come into your life, but actually like allowing the things to really come to your life. I see. I think you made a really important point.、Um, Thinking versus feeling, I think that's a big mistake a lot of people fall into when applying it. Like, I used to do that. Like, I created a whole like, to do list like,、yeah. that I want to manifest and、uh, creating a vision board. But then, when I started listing out of inspiration, but the more I focus on the results or expectations, I started finding myself like, Draining down or stressed because focusing on the end result can make me focus on the absence of what I want. Have we had those e x p e r i e n c e For me, I've had the experience that whenever I don't feel good、mm -hmm. uh, and I think myself into stuff like I have to do this, I have to do that,、right. and Then, when I force myself to do these things, even if I don't feel like doing these things,、uh -huh. they actually don't quite work that well. So, whenever I feel really, really good and just feel out of the blue inspired to like buy a shoes or buy ice cream or something,、yes. then there's actually something like really evolving into something even bigger, even if you don't really notice it. So right, right. that's like the thing, a solution that the universe is delivering to you. Because、right. manifestation just works like this you are asking for something, you have a desire, 
universe immediately responds and it's your job to really allow mm -hmm. like these things to come into your life by generally focusing on good feelings on the way you actually want to feel when these things arrive into your life mm -hmm. and i've just noticed when i feel really inspired to do something and then do it just because it it feels like fun to me Yes. Uh, then these things really work out so well. Right. And they lead to so many big stuff that I couldn't have imagined before. Right. I think the feeling is the key. Yeah. Emotion is basically energy in motion. It's the way yeah. we interpret energy in a different language and we can feel it immediately. So... I think that's internal guidance system that we all have. Yes. So, yeah. I'm so glad to find someone like resonating with this concept, the law of attraction, like personally, it's a really good opportunity to get in touch. Yeah. Drew. Yes, I think so too. I think all of your viewers are like in the same mode as we are because otherwise they wouldn't like watch your videos. Right. <laughs> I, I think the comment section on this video would also be a great opportunity to get to know people like us. Right. So yeah, feel free to share your feedback or comments about the law of attraction. We would love to yeah. build a community. <laughs> How did you first learn about the law of attraction? Or like, was it the law of attraction that helped help you to focus more on good feeling and manifestation or did you originally had this idea and then learn about the term uh when i was younger like 10 years old 15 years old 17 even 18 years old i was just the person who was most of the time on like negative scale of emotions i was constantly having like anxiety of talking to people and anxiety about my career in the future. These are the points where my own desire to like become better, to really attract a life I really want and where I really feel good. That's where it kind of started because of my own like motivation to become better. And I just like researched about like solutions to actually solve many problems I had, like, like the anxiety or money wise, just looking in YouTube, just typing in how can I do this? How can I attract this? Or uh, how can I solve like that problem? And that's just how I came across Abraham Hicks teachings. And there are like so many videos where people talk about their relationship, their money, uh, success and so on, where you can just like uh, apply it right into your life. And that's where I like really first understood the topic. Before that, I've heard about the law of attraction many times, but wanting to solve my own problems led me into the real path of the law of, the law of attraction. I see. I know I listen to Abraham Hicks often and I love her session it provides a real life cases so yeah. I can relate a lot and versus like the first time I came across this concept was uh, the book The Secrets by is it Rhonda? Rhonda Brian. I think. Brian yeah yeah uh, that was like many years ago like almost like more than 10 years i think yeah. i found it very inspiring but at the same time like i couldn't really found a good application for some reason so basically they are talking about the same thing and i could share some tips with you okay sure some tips that i've out of my own experience uh, uh -huh. came into conclusion uh -huh. like the one big thing that i have learned that i've done wrong like all the past years <laughs> the thing that if you have like a day where you don't really feel good where you have like a lot of negative feelings which is like the number one step of the manifestation process process that abraham hicks teaches 
it's a thing like when you have negative thoughts or when something negative happens to you out of the blue you just don't know why this happens to you right now and you just have to like accept this as a part of the manifestation process because it would always be there no matter how like perfect your thoughts are it there will always be like contrasting experiences where i just don't know where it comes from and out of these experiences there just like grows a desire out of you where you just are where you're just thinking like okay i really don't want this thing to happen but i would really really want to have the positive um opposite of it happening in my life like for example uh if you have a bill where you uh, can't pay for then you're just thinking hey i really would love to have so much money that I don't even have to think about that bill. Mm -hmm. And once you really accept these experiences, then you ha really have found the key to manifestation. Yeah, I think that's a huge tipping point, like focusing on what you really want versus like getting stressed about what you don't like. Both statements might sound the same thing, but in terms of how energy works or the law of the universe works, I think it's a totally different thing. Yeah, I think whatever really happens, however you feel, just let it flow. Right. Uh, be easy about it and don't try to force anything. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to like force something into your life, it's not going to work anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you feel like ease and you feel like really balanced and peaceful, uh, that's when like the things you actually really want happen uh, without you even trying it to make it happen. Right, right. So whenever you encounter what you don't like, like how do you remind yourself? For example, are you doing like positive affirmations or? Mm -hmm. um, I have like a routine. Uh, um, for example, like every morning I like try to, when I drive to work or do something in my morning routine, I try to really think about all the positive feelings that are really possible to even feel like i try to train my mind into really getting used to positive feelings because for me it was like my whole childhood it was like the opposite uh -huh. and if you like train your mind into like going into a more positive state every morning then it's so much easier uh when something negative happens to like go back into that state like for me, if something negative happens, of course, I'm not immediately like, hey, it doesn't matter. I'm good anyways. I have my moments too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they last longer. Sometimes they're not lasting as long. But still, I'm just like going into my mind, reminding myself, hey, I have this routine of like uh, really focusing on positive feelings. Mm -hmm. And that way, it's so much easier for me to get into that state again. It's like building mental muscles. Yeah. That sounds really good. Yeah. For me, I started doing a tarot Instagram because I like using yeah. tarot to get inspired, doing like a short reading for my day. And the prompt is what's the good things that I can experience today. So when I focus on the positive statement, like, you know, likes attract lights, the whatever we focus keeps growing. So I found that more positive ideas flowing to me and Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so think Terry is also a really uh good way to get into like the spiritual mood, get more conscious of what's going on. And I also really like tarot readings. Uh -huh. I think that's a really good uh, cool thing. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's really cool. What I love about Tara is like when I work with Tara, it's like a synchronistic message. I don't think out like it's not yeah. me thinking out loud, but 
the information just pops up. Like, especially I love flying away cards, the cards that is just popping up. It really helps me like go with the flow and relax the idea of the mindset that I need to figure out things like perfectionism. How long have you been following this morning routine? Actually, not that long. It's been like two or three months, actually. Um, I've only recently really gotten into like the yeah. most positive state that I've ever been in my life wow. because of this routine. Um, so I really have to say, if you like follow this routine and maybe just every day take like five or ten minutes to mm -hmm. just write down positive feelings, um, it can make a really quick change in your life. Yeah, so this can be just writing the gratitude list or yeah. taking a walk, thinking about mm -hmm. positive things, daydreaming or tarot card reading. It could be anything, basically. The tools yeah. are everywhere, and I think it's just a matter of our focus and intention. Or you could just, in the middle of the day, uh, appreciating like the little things like a cup of coffee or uh, yeah. like a present you've got or a parking lot <laughs> just appreciating things is also a really really powerful tool to right for everyone to use everyone has something to appreciate mm -hmm. right. one thing i've noticed is that all of my other routines actually change too Oh, uh, because I I I have so much more focus uh, yeah. when I try to like be productive when I make content for my page uh, I'm so much more productive than I was was before mm -hmm. and that's just like if I take like one hour to make posts I can do so much more stuff in that one hour than I uh, could do before just because I have this clear mindset mm -hmm. uh, that I didn't have before and the months before I started this routine it was for me there was like a lot of time that was lost or that felt lost I didn't know where it where it went right now I just feel like I have so much more time even though I I like have the same yeah routines in my actual life it's just crazy how much time it feels like right now. It sounds like you feel more relaxed than yes, the, yes. Like I just feel time. like more aware of, of what's actually going on about uh, around me. I see. Also, another thing is like my own not energy. Like we talk about it, but in my body, the energy. Like I used to feel so tired all the time. Mm -hmm. And now I, I can stay awake for many more hours than I used to. That's awesome. And that's also a thing that's uh, important to me because I want I don't want to sleep too much. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to spend my time like doing th doing things I want, like doing things then that, that uh, bring me further and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's that's also something uh, that really helped. Um, with the feeling state. So it sounds like your body also changes on a cellular level. Yes, that's also pretty cool. <laughs> yes, you're like you're transforming into a different person. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing your stories. Thank you so much too for uh, the opportunity of the collab. Of course. Thank you.